Shake full of gin, shake full of rum, shake full of whiskey, my oh my, up or over, with a swizzle, wanna see you I start sizzling, shake full of moonshine, shake full of sky, I'll mix you up and I'll hit your spot, come on over, I'm always ready, my head's steady, don't shake it, maybe I'm not steady, shake it, woo, shake it. My bar is loaded, and, I, and so am I, strangely enough. I started before you guys. Oh, and sorry, by the way, welcome to Cocktails with Tiki King. This is the pre-Christmas edition, because Christmas is actually on a, it's, it's on a Tuesday, I think, this year. and um, So I'm not going to do it, because I'm going to be busy doing other things. So this is the pre-Christmas pre -Christmas edition of uh, Cocktails with Tiki King. So here we go. So um, thanks for coming. I'm glad to see oh hey didn't see you there but i'm glad you're here um so uh so tonight <clears throat> we're going to talk a little bit about irish coffee and i got started on the irish a little earlier because i figured i wasn't going to wait around for you guys a bunch of miscreants doing whatnot on the internet and wasting everybody's time for god's sake um so tonight we're going to do irish coffee irish coffee now Irish coffee is one of my favorite things, and I'll tell you why it dovetails into this whole thing. Is because, I'll tell you, Christmas morning, Christmas morning, you're going to, well, depending on who you are, if you're like me, you're going to get up, and it's going to be bright and shiny, and there's going to be Christmas lights, and the Christmas tree glowing, and people are going to be singing, and carolers at the door, and there's going to be presents everywhere, right? And you're going to think, I need some booze. So, <clears throat> you're also going to be probably thinking, I need some coffee, because you probably stayed up late. So, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. Not really. I'm probably not going to kill anything, uh, except for the rest of this drink. It's probably another one. Um, but we're going to we're going to talk about early morning, booze, Christmas, Irish, and coffee. Because what do I do? I get up in the morning. I drink coffee. I drink a lot of it. People who people who are on my Facebook know I drink a lot of coffee in the morning. And sometimes I'll tell you, you drink that coffee, and it's like you get stuck going. You're going. You're going. Who knows where you're getting done. But Christmas morning, you're going to end up right there in your living room, probably. Your family and friends are going to be around. You're going to be wondering what to do other than open presents and bask in all the cheery joy that the world has to offer. But to help you bask in the cheery joy that the world has to offer, I'm going to say that you should go where I go. I'm going to tell you, I won't lead you astray much. Um, you should go where I go, and that's Irish coffee. Now, I'll tell you. It's, it's one of those things that people think, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to get my coffee and dump some booze in it, whatever. That's not real Irish coffee. That's just coffee with booze in it. And you can do that if you want. I don't, I'm not going to judge you. I mean, not that you'll know of. I'll be judging you from here in my cap and robe and my, you know, Thompson and my Irish coffee. But seriously, no, there is actually a proper way to make Irish coffee. And I'll tell you, it's worth the effort because... Once you once you get it all done and you take that sip, you're going to know where your efforts went, and I'll tell you. So, what is Irish coffee? Well, the Irish, where does that come from? The Irish comes from good Irish whiskey, which we're using, oh, sorry, we're using Jameson tonight, partly obscured by the bottle mojo. Tangent. Here we go. Off into the ethers. Um, let you in on a little secret. So this bottle, this is, this is the bottle mojo. It's got stuff all dangling from it. Um, many years ago, uh, I was up uh, visiting my mom, who's, uh, who's, who's since left us, but I went on a hike with my sister Jay, and uh, I took with me a shoelace and a spool of thread. And along the way, as we were hiking, I picked up various things and tied them to this shoelace, and I made a necklace. And uh, when we got back, she presented me with a fine bottle of Jameson. And I'll tell you, we sat out and drank that Jameson, and we told stories and told lies and made stuff up, and it was all glorious. But the, the, the that necklace <clears throat> became what I call the bottle mojo, and it's been on pretty much every bottle of Jameson since then. 
And uh, yes, that's. about submarines and mermaids and tentacles. I like squid. Are we live? Oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> welcome back to Cocktails of Tiki King. We had a minor interruption because apparently I didn't pay my cable bill. Um, but we're here again, and I have no idea where I left off. But I... Kept drinking without you guys, so you're just gonna have to put up with it. All right, so wait a minute. So okay, so we talked about whiskey. We talked about the bottle mojo. I brought out the coffee. Um, okay, a good breakfast blend. Uh, this one is a slightly light roast. It's not as acidic, but it packs a good caffeine punch, and that's always important on Christmas morning. You want to get as hyped up as you can to counteract the fact that you're gonna be putting booze in your coffee. So. We have a good cup of coffee here. To that, we're going to add a couple of, uh, you know, generous teaspoons of sugar. Now, you don't have to do this, but if you don't, I might come to your house and punch you. So, you might want to do it. You need to stir it 32 times. Two. Okay. <clears throat> So we got that. So we got the coffee, two teaspoons of sugar, and that's actually going it, to, it, it'll come in handy later. Trust me. Now, the Irish, like I said, I'm using Jameson uh, because my people drank Jameson. If you got a problem with that, you might want to take it up with my people. Okay. Uh, let me use the big end. How about that? So we want to put in one jigger of Jameson, which is 1.5 ounces. That brings it right up there. Look at that. It's almost like I pre-measured. Mm-hmm. I need to take that down just a little bit. Give that a little stir. Sorry, I just don't want to make a mess on the table. For a change. Okay. So there we go. So we got our coffee. Two generous teaspoons of sugar. We got our Irish. That went in there. Now we're going to add the cream. Now here's the thing. So... <clears throat> There's a lot of ways you can do this. And there's a lot of actually controversy about this whole thing. Now, we go back. Let's hold on. Let's go back in time. We're going back in time. Okay. Many years ago, uh, there was a fellow by the name of Stanton Delaplane who was in the uh, airport in Kerry in Ireland. And it was cold there. I've been to Ireland, and it is cold. And my sister's been to Ireland, and it's cold there. And she gave me a hot water bottle. And I still think that's weird. But um, so... Ireland is cold. It's a weird kind of cold. It's a kind of cold that gets inside your bones, and people who've been to Ireland go, oh, yeah, it gets inside your bones. And people who haven't been to Ireland go, what, how cold could it be? Put on a jacket. But the fact is it's cold. And so he was in the, 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 the airport, I believe, yeah, so, and uh, he had a drink that they called the Irish coffee, and it was basically coffee and cream and whiskey. And he came back to San Francisco, um, Stanton Delaplane was a, a newspaper editor, and he was he, he knew everybody. But he went down to the Yerba, the, the Buena Vista. I was going to say the Yerba Buena Vista Raging Malcontents, but that's actually Joe Sloan's band. And if you're watching, uh, I apologize for name dropping. <laughs> um, but uh, so the Buena Vista Cafe, which is out sort of by Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco, um, they their sort of claim to fame is that they're where the Irish coffee came to America, because Stanton Delaplane. After coming from Ireland and being so cold and having this drink, uh, he came there and him and the bartender endeavored to recreate it. And apparently they endeavored to the point where he passed out. So um, we're not going to do that tonight that I'm aware of. But anyway, so uh, if you're ever in San Francisco, go to the Buena Vista Cafe, order an Irish coffee. I'll tell you, I, I've been there with people who say, I don't like coffee, and they drink it and they go, wow, this is really good. So... That's not the controversial part. The, the controversial part is that <clears throat> some people go, oh, well, you need whipped cream. And, you know, they put ready whip and it's who knows what's in there. It might be, it could be, and it might, it might, it could, it might, and it could. Hold on. It might and could be things that aren't cream, and that's not good. Um, for this drink, we're going to want to go with a nice cream. But I'll tell you, we need to float it on the top. We don't want it mixing. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to aerate it a little bit. So shake it till it stops making noise. That's the important thing. If you have a little thing like this, shake it till it stops making noise. Wait, wait. Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do is we've got our whiskey, got our coffee, we've got our sugar. We're going to pour this over the back of a spoon. And if you've ever tended bar, you already know this trick, but if you haven't tended bar, if you ever need to float things, like if you need to make layers in a drink, uh, like for say you're making a post cafe, someone says, hey, make me a post cafe. And you're like, well, I have the ingredients, but how do I make sure that they're all like not mixing? Well, one, you need to the order, but the other is pour it over the back of a spoon. So we'll see. I'm probably going to just screw this up entirely, but let's see what happens. Yeah, I screwed it up entirely. Look at that. Well, that's what happens when you're live. <clears throat> Wow. Um, anyway, that's completely wrong. If I'd have done this right in any respect, the cream would have floated on the top of the coffee. But I didn't. But you know what? This is where we go. We take emergency countermeasures, give it a stir. And it's still pretty good. But had I done this correctly, the cream would have floated on the top. You would have the coffee and the, on the, and the other stuff underneath. And as you were sipping, the coffee would have gone through the cream and there would have been this whole mouthfeel thing and it would have been beautiful. But instead, I made a mess of things. And uh, yeah, sometimes life's like that, I guess. But that's the thing. When you're live, you never know what's going to happen. So I'll tell you, if you're home and you're watching this and you're disappointed, all I can say is, I'll, wait, I'll sing a song for you. Here's the thing. <clears throat> whatever you're whatever you're feeling down, whenever you're feeling like the <sighs> world doesn't have your back, when you're feeling like I made my Irish coffee wrong and the cream didn't float on top, I have a song here that might cheer you up. Oh, we're all gonna die and go to hell someday. The devil's gonna come and take us away. That's it. So this has been Cocktails with Tiki King, and I just want to say good night. Good drinking.